Look at this king cake, and I just cut the piece with the baby in it. Yep, that's my first baby in a king cake. Comment below if you know what that means, if you get the baby in the king cake. So what are we doing over here? We got some Wahoo baits. The Wahoo break off these weak little hooks that come. No, this. That's oh, the weak one. That's the weak one. This is the beefed up one. This is the new one. If we don't change out the hooks, they break off too easily. So we gotta redo all these baits here with the wire. There's some completed ones. Aren't there some that you added swivels to? Oh yeah, like we also added these swivels to them also. This is the pre, the night before the big fishing trip. I didn't say where I was. I guess it's kind of obvious where I am. I'm back in Venice, Louisiana. We're going offshore fishing tomorrow. We're gonna go troll for Wahoo again and then maybe do some tuna fishing. This is just what we do the night before. We just got back from New Orleans. Um, ran some errands today in town. Had a nice night in the city area. Is that what we would call it, the city? Downtown? City area? And right now is like carnival season, so there's king cakes everywhere. Everyone's got a king cake. And this is my first time eating king cake. I like it. It's really good. Make sure you get the cinnamon roll flavor or the cinnamon flavor because that's traditional. the traditional. The traditional flavor is, is cinnamon. So don't get the, the lemon one or the pineapple unless you like that. <laughs> Do you want me to tell them what you did at Walmart? Mm -mm. Nope, we're not mm -mm. telling. We're not telling what he did with the lemon lemon king cake at Walmart. So this is, this is our night. We'll see you guys tomorrow out on the boat. Hopefully with some wahoo. Maybe some tuna. That's it. We'll see you. We'll see you out on the water tomorrow. stop eating. Why, why did I start the video from eating? All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm doing a Wahoo fish dip recipe. So, okay, we've been, um, this is like what, the fourth or fifth time now we've made fish dip with Wahoo? Yeah, it's getting better and better. It gets better and better every time, and the last time we made it, it was like pretty much perfect. So, this is gonna be hopefully better than the last time. Here's the wahoo, here's the redfish we caught earlier. I don't know if that video will be out yet, but we caught some redfish earlier today, it was really fun. It's a nice big chunk, what would you say, that's like a four or five pound chunk right there? Um, probably like three, four pounds. Three, yeah. four pounds. It's got the skin on it. Here, let me show you. You can see the stripes, the wahoo stripes. <laughs> so there's the big chunk. He just rubbed it in seasonings, right? Nothing else? Yep. We've been smoking it, obviously, for smoked fish dip. You can use any type of fish you want. You can use mahi, kingfish, sailfish tastes good on the smoker. Um, whatever you want, really. Wahoo is excellent. So the heat is closer to the yeah. to the fire pit part right yeah. Which is right here, but I'm not gonna open it because you're not supposed to. He's got the little side piece open about halfway, if you can see. That lets the fire yeah, inside breathe. So he just puts it straight on, right? Yeah. No foil or anything? Nope. Straight on the smoker. And that's at what? What was it at, would you say? Uh, about 300. About 300. So that's how sensitive the smoker is. Once you open it, it will jump that far. That's how cool it gets when you open it. So that's why it's important to leave it closed. So we'll leave the Wahoo on for about an hour and a half. Redfish 30 minutes. And this is what the smoke's looking like. It's really windy right now. Look how the smoke's just blowing right out of there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we'll see you. We'll check the Wahoo and we'll let you know what it looks like in about an hour or so. 
while our fish is cooking on the smoker, we are gonna chop our vegetables and get everything else ready that goes into the fish dip. We don't use mayonnaise, we just use cream cheese. And we have been using the Philadelphia spicy jalapeno flavor cream cheese, like that. And mixing it with the garlic and herb cream cheese by Philadelphia. And that seems to be pretty good. We use about a half of each one of these from each one and mix them together and put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds to heat it up and get it all kind of nice and melty. And then regular yellow onion, green onions. He likes to put in a little bit of celery. And usually do some bacon. Where's the bacon? You want to do that this time? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get some bacon. Let me get it out. Yeah, just some regular nice bacon. And you don't have to use the flavored ones. You can just get the regular kind or whatever kind you like. And you can add jalapenos to yours, like fresh jalapenos. And maybe some garlic and herb to get that flavor. We slice everything super thin. Crumble up the bacon really small. We'll show you what it looks like when the fish is done. Oh no. I don't like it. Not an onion cry. <laughs> okay, this time we're doing extra bacon. So as I was saying, he filled up this whole baking sheet with bacon and he's gonna put all of this in the fish dip. That's a lot of bacon. Swap it out the smoker. Ooh, look at that. It's got a nice golden crust. All right. Looking good. It smells even better. Yeah. So you don't want your fish to be too dry because you want it to be a little bit juicy. So it ha it has a little bit of like moisture and juiciness to mix yeah, with them. If not, it starts tasting real fishy. Yeah, it starts to taste fishy and it gets kind of crumbly. The consistency isn't as good. So you want to leave your fish a little bit moist. So we had it in there for definitely about like an hour or so. Yeah. Why we cook for an hour and a half? An hour and a half. So now you're just crumbling up the bacon. No, you're full. You had two slices of. You had a whole redfish. <laughs> he ate a whole redfish. I'm gonna te test it with my wheat thins. But if you want to eat real. And crackers. this is the favorite cracker that we've been eating. The club snack. If you want to be in the cool club, you eat club crackers. Yeah, well, if you're too cool because you've been eating too many club crackers. <laughs> Then your name's Then you switch to the wheat thins. Oh, it looks so good. And it's even better, even better after you let it sit in the fridge for uh, like, you know, overnight or a few days. It lasts yeah, for a pretty long time right. too, which is nice. With the regular crackers, because that's how I've been eating it, so I can judge it, the flavor better. Oh, it's a good, it's nice and moist. Oh, it's yeah. crackers. Each time I cook the fish less and less 
Oh, this gorgeous. is good, yeah. That is so good. Okay, now I'm gonna try it with the wheat then. It's gonna be good. Mm. It's good. It's good, but it's better with these crackers. The club. It's better with those. This is a good batch. It's so good I can't stop eating it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Wahoo fish dip recipe video. It's really delicious. I, I really hope you get a chance to try it. If you don't have a smoker, you can always put it in the oven or grill it or whatever and use some liquid smoke or whatever brand that you like to use for that smoky flavor and it should be just as good. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm. Mm.